All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are setting up and selling golf clubs at the flea market and once again. Of 500 is today. Yeah, we're like less than five miles mm -hmm. away from the racetrack, so it could be pretty busy. Or, or no one could be here. Yeah, we'll I have no out. idea. But uh, <laughs> we brought out some uh, good stuff. We got some Scotty Cameras. We got some TP Mills. Mm -hmm. Bunch of stuff. Probably, I think we have like two tables full. Yeah. Our car was packed to the uh, brim. Literally but... Tetris style, like full. <laughs> yeah, it was a, uh, a work of magic yes. to get all the clubs in there. But uh, never know we're going to sell, so. Let's go sell it. Doesn't sound Still as good. Weird. Yeah, we'll meet you with our first customer. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Hi, Dory. How are you? Pretty good, you? Ashley's been killing that M2. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we got a video of it. Oh, nice. We're running a little bit late today. Oh, that's all right. I'm trying to think if we have any cool pings or Nikes. Got a bunch of loose pings right here. Four! <laughs> <laughs> Old Wilson's. The first and last time I ever played golf, I quote got a birdie. Oh really? That's right a good, out of the tree. Good. Oh, oh yeah. No. Here you go. Here's your Nike. Uh, Let's see what I don't fix have. for the day. <laughs> uh, I have this one. I have this one. I don't have this one. Well, there you go. <laughs> I appreciate that. I might be able to go home and take a nap and sleep in peace. <laughs> Like, you get the pick of the litter today. Well, I'm the first? Yeah, I think yeah. we've only been here for a minute before you were here. Really? All right, what do you think about 60? You sure? Yeah. Okay. You need to put a new grip on there. Okay. I mean, whatever you think. Oh, wait, oh, wait. That's what I You know how I am. I'm going to fight it where <laughs> I pay you, you know? Awesome. You Thank you. What do you think, John? Like Whoa, years. that Nike bag is yeah, sweet. That's why. I thought your eyes might be wide. Yeah. <laughs> he knows um, you well. <laughs> yeah. The Scotty camera head cover is pretty sweet, too. The uh, Is that the TAI 3? This is actually some just Titleist clubs oh, I have okay. in these. Take a look at these blades here, see if you might be interested. Well, yeah. definitely interested. Don't think I'd be able to hit these anymore. <laughs> I, know, I know. I didn't think they'd be so blady when I got them. Yeah. Because I play um, AP2 716s. Oh, yeah. Those are. Love those clubs. Oh. But mm -hmm. I thought, oh, man, you know. And then, and then you realized it's a butter knife. And like, yeah. yeah. It's not a golf club. <laughs> Is that the four? Yeah, the three and the four. Yeah. Uh, Adam Scott's probably the only person in the world that can still right. hit those. <laughs> oh, custom shop. Oh, nice. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Uh -huh. That grip is really cool. Yeah, and uh, this one's not for sale, but <laughs> I wanted to show it to you. It was like some obscure site I found. I think I got it for about 200 bucks. Oh, wow. It still has the uh, the uh, pitch marker tool. Yeah, yeah that's that, that came with it. Oh wow, wow. Bucks yeah. Is a steal. Oh, I know. <laughs> and it's not the commemorative but model. Still. You know, the commemorative models are not as good. And I wanted to have it refinished. You know, I sent it to the uh, the shop. They sent it back. Sorry, tour patent on that one. Can't do it. What? So wow. Came, I think it came out of his collection. That's Maybe when one you of his. Know. I think yeah. you're liter literally holding like a thirty thousand dollar putter right, right here. I know. I just play it with it every every week. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I'm recording. Are we recording? Right. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. I see red. <laughs> right. There you go. Thumbnail. Thirty thousand dollar putter. Tiger DM me. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. I want to take it to a tournament and see what he knows about it, you know? No, because that's the thing. If they send it back and they're like, they can't, you know you've got something good. Yeah. You should hold that. I don't want to hold <laughs> it. Yeah, <just> hold it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Googling it, you know? Just like, yeah. oh my goodness. You know? Well, that's a once in a lifetime find for sure. Especially yeah. at that price point. Can't yeah. Beat it. I know. So anyway, I want to sell this and those okay um did you have a price in mind i was thinking about 300 300 yeah that works that wait that way you can make some money too <laughs> yeah and, oh, and the, the head covers i'm sure one. you yeah. can <laughs> find room for them somewhere. we got we already got homes for those head covers right. <laughs> a bunch of those 
<laughs> oh, we got Scotty Cameras that need head covers. Oh, really? 20, 40, and 300. Sweet. Triple checked by me, too. So there you, you go. Yeah. Thumbnail <laughs> time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that. Just yeah, I thought, that. I thought <laughs> that might help out. Hey, take a look at the um, okay. Callaway bag yeah. then. It's cool. that white jet over there. Okay. Oh. Now, this one's not in as good a shape as the other one, but. Oh, that's still cool, though, yeah. And uh, this zipper was busted, but I just sewed it yeah, off. I sewed it off one. right there so it won't go any further you know, uh -huh. into the bad area. I think everything else works. I would definitely be interested, but we have a Callaway bag and we're getting ready to move. We're trying to purge stuff. Uh, yeah, this one's only 20 bucks. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> there you go. All right, but all right, thanks. Oh, you a golfing guy that real hobby into selling golf stuff? Yep, got too many golf clubs. I'm trying to purge a little bit. <laughs> uh -huh. You do these markets often? Or? Uh, we come here out here like once a month. Once a month? Yeah. Yeah. Would you be open to kind of taking a look at a way to, because you have this, you're going to attract the people that would really love another thing that you can introduce to them that would create ongoing revenue. Can I that? demonstrate? Yeah, sure. How, how, how important is, is range of motion in golf? Very important. It's everything, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's draw a line. Here's a line for you. Okay, put your feet on both sides of this line. And, and rotate your body, you know, you know, so that she can mark as far as the, put your hands out like this. Uh, and, as far and, as he can go. As far as he can go, <laughs> and, and you mark it somehow so that you absolutely know where it is. All right. Okay. Don't move your feet. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Relax. Put this between your hands for oh, 30 seconds. Some people are tuned into energy that it has embedded energy, and we have it in a simple peel and stick. Looks like a band aid. Okay. Really inexpensive, and they're easy to sell once you demonstrate. <laughs> Feel anything going on? Not really. Okay. Some people say warm, cold, tingling, any anything at all. No. No. Okay. We're ready. Whenever you're ready, just do the same rotation. Six inches. Eight inches. I don't know what it was, but it's pretty significant. Yeah. Okay. And, and the cool thing about that is, you know, what we've done, and we have patented technology. We have six patents now. But, and this is warm. This is really warm. Yeah, I got sweaty, fat fingers. <laughs> yeah, well, but I'm, I, I, do you get that when you hold a gl golf club? Do the, you know, does the club get a Some golf clubs make me feel warm. Okay. <laughs> but, but anyhow, the, the key to what we've done here, among other things, is we put the Schumann resonance in this card. Schumann resonance is the frequency of the earth. Okay. Okay. If you would be barefoot, you would have a lot more range of motion, a lot more you know, benefit of your body working at a higher level. Okay. And, you know, it's so simple to improve people's this is range of motion, balance, strength, all comes together with the earth. And, you know, ultimately every golfer probably wants to improve their game. So once you demonstrate, you know, as simple as, you know, putting a patch on a, a piece of anything, you know, on a golf club, and you say, swing this club, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and versus the one without it, you're going to find that they get more range of motion. Thank I'll be you. back. Okay. Right. How far did you go? With the, yeah, that's why we missed it. We were the, talking about squirrels. I think you went about here, which is yeah. good for you. That's flexible. You're not very flexible. I'm in tune with the earth. Right. <laughs> Still getting set up. We got a little slow start to the day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Iron sets. Uh, we'll go put them down there, I guess. I follow your guys' channel. Oh, awesome. I always watch it, yeah. My wife gets sick of me watching YouTube. We hear that a lot. <laughs> She actually, because she loves going kind of like thrifting and stuff like that for, she does like antique books and stuff like that. So oh, okay. She's, kinda, she's trying to get into it down here some, somewhere. So have you guys had the sushi donut at Epcot? This is one of the only things we haven't had in yeah. oh, it, We thought it was really good. Every time we go, it's a new thing. Yeah. So. How's it going? This is a thank you for advertising us on YouTube. Oh, oh awesome. <laughs> thank you. And we love their biscuits and gravy and their fries. Uh, you know it's well. well. <laughs> thank you. Thank Jennifer you. told us she put us on YouTube when he was looking. I'm like, it's what this is called. <laughs> thank Let you. I know where we're at, of course. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Have a good one. We were going to order this anyway. <laughs> we got free fries and, and gravy. She, she does what we want, us. too. <laughs> what you guys want for the pyramid photo? Uh, we can do. 60 on that one. Oh. Thank you. Gabby's hooked us up with some uh, gravy and fries. Delicious. Oh, these are home fries. 
Yeah, she knows our order. Oh, I didn't realize that the home fries were just little mini french fries. I thought it would be like a... Oh, she chops them up. Huh. Homemade home fries. Homemade home fries. That stuff's good. Mm. Also, Gabby's is right there. You should go check them out if you come to our flea market. Delicious. Golf clubs and breakfast. Done. All you need. How's it going? You guys do exist. <laughs> we're real people. What's going on, man? <clears throat> I was going to text you about all the tailor-made stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, we brought out some. Get a uh, arrow burner over here, and then we got the uh, uh, burner irons too, oh, nice. and we got a bunch of other random oh, dude, ones. Fire soul? Yeah, yeah the bubble. I, I got the fire souls, uh, the iron set. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is this the driver for them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I started off with the uh, racks and uh, burner with the bubble two shaft. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm on the hunt for the LCGs. Oh yeah. The original burner. Yeah, the low center of gravity so ones. Hard yeah. To find. Yeah. I see them on eBay once in a while, but I think we had a set of those. We sold them three or four weeks ago out here. Oh really? Yeah. These are sick though. Yeah. How much for this one? Uh, we can do 10 on it. 10? Yeah. Okay. Just like that. Can you hold on to that? Yep. So, I don't want it to be on the ground. Or <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Finding the driver for this is so hard, too. Oh, yeah, the prices is. Driver. They're like almost going up. It's like a, that club came out in 2017 and it still goes for more than like the M6s and stuff. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I remember when I bought the first driver, is the RBZ Black. Oh, yeah, those are hard to oh, find. Dude, they're yeah. so sick. They were having at Dick's for two. Two or yeah, two hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. And then they had the M2 driver for two fifty. It was already used. And I was yeah. Like, yeah, I don't really know. And then down the line, I looked at reviews. I'm like, I should have bought the M2. Yeah. <laughs> the carbon look just looks so nice. How much for this one? Oh, uh, we can do sixty on that one. Sixty. You don't have the three wood, with, do you? Uh, no. No. Okay. I actually just bought one the other day for myself. <laughs> right, in the video that's gonna post later yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, we bought a bag yesterday and we could not hand a guy more money. He bought, what was it? It was a dollar. It was like a nice ping cart bag. Wow. And he was like, it's a dollar. And I was like, and then he finally a ping took, cart bag? Yeah. Yes. Literally, I could barely hand him two dollars. Like yeah, we tried to give him five and he was like, no, I'm not, I'm not taking it. <laughs> it was just, that's why garage sales are the best. He's like, no, that's too much money. <laughs> I don't need that kind of money. <laughs> that's like Bill Gates level for that guy. Right. <laughs> That's actually the uh, the burner head cover flipped inside out. Oh really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I saw that video of you guys doing that. You that's put it on, cool. yeah. You want to switch it up? Or the, yeah. Yeah, if you want, you could throw it on the. Yeah, that's why you on the, put it on this guy. That one, you could have that head cover. <laughs> this one was fits bigger. Oh, man. this is the driver for how much for this one? Uh, five on that. Five. Okay. Because this will match the driver. This is actually a bigger head than the uh, bubble or the uh, burner driver I have. Oh, really? I don't know. I think like the burner driver I have is from like 92 or something. Oh, the uh, original steel one? I think. No, because it has the copper has top. The, oh, okay. But it's like a smaller yeah. head size yeah. with the 10.5. So I don't know. But this is going to actually, this is like actually a driver head size. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that would go with that. Original. Yeah. Or the big ones now. Yeah, the arrow burner is a little bit bigger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> The arrow burner is sick. I like the other, what, the one that came out before that, this version. Oh, the burner, the 2007 mm -hmm. burners? Dude, yeah. those were so sick. The one that's like a trapezoid shape? Yeah. yeah. My buddy has it, dude. He crushes the crap out of it. How much for the Cleveland? Uh, 10 on that one. 10? Okay, for sure. Cool. I don't have a 60 wedge in the bag at all. So. Well, what's, what's, what's the average? Sandwich 56. 56. Yeah, it's usually like 52, 56, and 60. 60. But the the lofts on irons are getting so strong that it's almost becoming 50, 54, and 58 is yeah, the normal. All the new technology yeah. going on. Uh, we can do 60 on that. Oh, dude, that's so funny. You guys have this? Hogan CFTs, yeah. Yeah. I have one in the bag too. That's actually a pretty decent club. Like, mm -hmm. I, I like them. Like, in a weird situation, like in the rough. Mm -hmm. I never thought like Ben Hogan clubs would actually be good. Oh, they're they're really they're some of my favorites. The really? old ones were like the super premium high end. I always thought it'd be like. Oh, kind of uh, we can do twenty things. on that one. You do both these for sixty. Uh, seventy-five. 
How about I take this one just for 40? For that, we'd have to get 60 on that one. That's already a really good deal. 50 on it? Yeah, $50 bill. That's all we got right here. Uh, sure, that's fine. Thank you. You too. All right, I'll just square up with that, I guess. Okay. That'll work. Yeah, if you guys ever see those burner LCGs, the originals, mm -hmm. they just hold on to them. Okay. Just hit me up or whatever, I'll pick them up for you. I've seen them on eBay from time to time, but they're like 150, 200 sometimes. Yeah, that's crazy like, for that. They're cool, but they're not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, 100, and no, nobody ever takes them. So. Oh, thank awesome, guys. thank you. How's it going? Uh, cool. Pretty good. Guess, guess you're too late for any drivers left. Uh, <laughs> we got the Nike one right here. Ah, uh, the square one. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They're ugly, but they work. How much for the ball? Uh, 10. 10. Some guy commented the other day that uh, his game is so bad that he had to regrip his uh, ball retriever. <laughs> 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 My favorite comment for a while. <laughs> Ash has got a huge smile on her face, so it could only mean one thing or two things. Dizzy or Pyrex. We found these uh, at the flea market a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Casserole dishes of the harvest oh, the wheat. harvest wheat. Those are sweet. Yeah. Oh, and it had the lids too? And the lids. <laughs> I think this might be the only time that we set up at the flea market and lose money. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. Well, those are lady, in perfect condition. Literally, the lady she said she bought them from never used them. That's awesome. So cool. <laughs> now you go find some Disney stuff and we're good. Oh, sweet. Well, Ashley's doing some buying of golf clubs too, not just Pyrex. What'd you get? I Disney yet, but $5 for all the clubs. $5 and there's a Cobra in there? Yeah, that's what I was excited about I that. Think, what is this, well. the Speed LD? Yeah, yeah, Speed LD. These things are sweet. I haven't tried that one yet. Yeah. I got a Titleist 975J VS. Oh, yeah. The uh, jumbo version of the 975D. And a very strange burner. <laughs> it's yeah. Had some fun. And these are like, I'm not sure the brand, but they actually look like pretty decent hybrids. Huh. Hybrid like irons. Yeah. X200, XE, EX200. I wasn't going to complain because I just wanted that for $5. I got everything else for free. Deal of the day. <laughs> right. We need to stop buying stuff. <laughs> oh, I also got Disney. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good, brother. Yeah. Not very busy out here today. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just want to let you know, I love your channel. Oh, awesome. Thank yeah, you. I just happen to be in the area. I'm like, oh, let me swing by. <laughs> yeah. Ashley's around here somewhere looking for Pyrex or Disney. Oh, <laughs> oh the dog's back. Hello. How's it going? Yes, like a horse. That's awesome. <laughs> good, good. We fixed both of them. Oh, you fixed both of them? Yeah, my USA bag. How much are you selling that one for? Oh, uh, we could do 30 on this one. 30? Yep. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Whoa. Yeah, we're getting ready to move, so we're trying to purge some of the bags. Oh, I was going to say. They take up too much room. Oh, this is awesome. I think we have a couple of loose hybrids over here. We got a Hogan CFT, and then this is kind of like a hybrid of a hybrid. It's like a driving iron almost. The paint is all messed up, but it's actually a pretty good club. And then we got a couple of, I think a Nick Ant hybrid over there too. So I got, I got a two, I got a two hybrid. I got a new three hybrid. I'm looking for a four, something like four-ish. Okay. There's at least four iron yet. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty easy to hit that. Oh, exotic? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I'll take this. What can, for both of these, what do we do? Uh, we can do four. So, what do we say in the bag? 30? 30. Yeah. 40 for the whole thing. 40? Yep. Cool. Right. Awesome. Go. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, brother. All right, have a good one. You keep, too, thanks. Keep it up, man. Keep doing the videos. Love them. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. All right, folks. Another fun day selling at the uh, flea market. And we did a little bit of uh, buying, but yeah. uh, it wasn't crowded, to uh, no, say the we least. we were talking to some of the other vendors, and apparently it's very slow on race day. Yeah, I didn't think about that. No one wants to, like, go out through the uh, yeah. traffic. That would have been know. common sense. But uh, a few brave souls did uh, venture out. We basically started off the uh, day with uh, Jim, our buddy from the uh, Habitat for Humanity in New Smyrna Beach. Mm -hmm. And of the thrift stores in the area, they definitely have the most golf clubs. Yes, so definitely if you, uh, worth checking out if you're there. Yeah, definitely uh, check it out. And then at the exact same time, uh, Mike, he hooked us up with <laughs> some of the craziest stuff that oh, I've ever absolutely. seen. We ended up buying this uh, Scotty Cameron uh, custom shot putter. And I don't get to say this very often, but I think this one's actually going in my bag. Yeah, that thing. It was absolutely awesome. stunning. It's got the uh, little uh, Scotty Cameron logo on the toe, which is usually what uh, they do when it comes out of the uh, custom shop. And then it's got the uh, custom shop grip on there. And 
this thing is absolutely yeah. stunning. I love the weight feel, everything. Everything about it. Ashley's a new dream putter. <laughs> and he also, speaking of dream putter, I don't know if that was like a replica of Tiger Woods putter or one of his like uh, backup putters. I don't know, but regardless, it was just cool to hold. Yeah, if that was one of his actual backup putters, that's like, hundred i don't even know what a priceless, pr priceless uh, for sure so just being able to uh, hold that yes. i can't imagine owning it but that was definitely uh, awesome and then he also uh, sold us uh, the world's hardest to hit clubs right here the titleist uh, 680s I actually played the 690s for a little bit and those are known for being like one of the easier to uh, hit blades they launch the ball up pretty high 680s not so much no i hit one shot with it and it was like a worm burner but i was just shocked i was able to hit it all so yeah i made contact and it it felt like a stinger, but not like in the way that you want to hit a stinger. And then also we got these uh, head covers too. The yeah. uh, Scotty Cameron uh, head covers. Those usually alone go for like $75 mm -hmm. a piece. And then the putter, obviously, well, it doesn't matter the value. It's priceless but to me. It's priceless uh, to uh, Ashley. And then we also got this uh, Nike golf bag. Do you think he knows your taste? Yeah, well? that's definitely one of the nicest Nike golf bags that uh, we own now. And uh, definitely a, a good deal. So thank you to uh, Mike for hooking us up with yeah. uh, all of that. And then another subscriber came out and gave us a, a few clubs to uh, try out or uh, donate. And we tried out a few of them and they're actually really good. Yeah. They're the uh, Nakashima. I've never actually tried these. They're like a, a component brand and uh, actually killed that driver. I have no idea what the KO stands for, but I'm going with knockout because yeah. I crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes. Dad jokes right there. It's got the, uh, I don't know if this is the actual Pro Force V2. It looks like it's got the uh, same color uh, scheme on there, but it's an HMOI. So maybe high moment of inertia or something like that. Whatever uh, but it was, it, whatever it was, it worked. And then the three wood is actually pretty good too. So, uh, Definitely a uh, fun day selling at the flea market and some buying. Yep. But I uh, hope you guys did like this video. If you did like, button, subscribe, and, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Keep waving. Oh, I got Pyrex. oh yeah, Ashley got you Pyrex like too. Death golf bingo. Yeah. For success. And Ashley's new putter. Win, win, win. Scotty Cameron Custom Shop. Yes. See you guys. <laughs>